to today's video. So today we are going to be creating a Christmas card and we're also gonna be creating a little acetate box to hold that card in. I'm uh, really excited about how this turned out. So I created a prototype and I messed up on the measurements a little bit, but that's okay. So in the end, your card is going to measure four by nine and this one measures four by eight. So it's a little off, but we are gonna get it right for this tutorial. Um, look at how adorable this is. So I used my Cookies for Kringle paper collection. This is what the inside looks like. I left it blank. I haven't stamped anything in there yet. Um, and I just used some craft paper as the base and uh, um, as the base of my house some red glitter cardstock to frame that out and then um, my cookies for kringle paper collection and ephemera pack and then i used a lot of scrap diva designs um, dies on here as well and i will show you um, all of that i also took out my buttons galore and more subscription box and used a lot of the little shimmers on there I added them to the rooftop and to the base of the card because it, I used the white paper. I thought it needed a little something and you know, those little sparkles just look like little snowflakes. So I thought it would be really cute to add those throughout the background. And then I have some little charms here, a little flower cluster, and I just think it's really, really cute. So we are going to use this die. This is called the Slimline Heart House. So this is one die right here. And this is the base of my house. And then we have an add-on, and this is uh, the the add-on to this to this house. And so these um, create little shakers. You can do a little shaker out of the heart, out of the house, and then it's got these little window panes um, that you can use to outline your windows. So those are super adorable. Okay, so let's get into the good part. These are the pieces that you will need to create the base of your card. So what I started off with is a piece of cardstock um, that measures eight by nine. And then I scored this on the eight inch side, I scored it at four, and that's gonna give me a card base that is four by nine. And so that's my slimline card base. Then I have my mats. For the inside, I cut a piece of white cardstock and I just went down an eighth of an inch. So this measures three and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths. And that's gonna go right inside, just like that. That's gonna be my base. And before you adhere this, I would recommend that you do your stamping um, because once you add everything you're gonna add to the front of your card, it might be hard to get this into whatever stamp um, thing you use and so um, I would recommend stamping prior to adhering the inside mat um, and then for the front of my card I use two pieces of cardstock as you can see here this has a little green base and then I have this um, cardstock on the top so the bottom base is going to measure the same as this inside one it's going to measure three and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths and then this top layer is going to just an eighth of an inch down from that three and three fourths by eight and three fourths. And that's what's gonna go right on top and just give us that little border all the way around. See how you can see those three different uh, layers of paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my liquid glue to adhere this down. I'm just gonna add some all the way around. I did do some stitching on this one and basically I just stitched my top mat to my bottom mat. Okay. And I am going to make sure this is facing the right direction. <laughs> I'm going to add this to my base, just like so. Okay, so I just glued that down and then I'm gonna glue the inside of my base. And like I said, um, make sure to stamp this before you put it down, um, just because once you you know, add all of your items to the front, it, it just makes it more difficult if you don't do it ahead of time. And again, that's the measurement, three and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths. Okay, I'm just gonna glue this down. 
And we are done with that part. Super easy, right? <laughs> it really is so easy. It's so uh, surprisingly easy and fun to create. Okay, so we've got all of our base complete. And then I cut out these all of these pieces here. Um, oh, I didn't bring a rag. Hold on one second. Let me get a wipey so I can wipe my fingers. Okay. Um, so I already put my little house together. It, I have a layer of um, craft paper, a layer of acetate behind that, and then another layer of um, these little foam squares. I just cut up and put them all the way around. This is kind of messy. <laughs> Then I added my shaker mix, and then I added another layer of acetate. Normally, I would not add that second layer of acetate. I would just glue this onto here. But for the sake of this video, I went ahead and added another layer of acetate just so I could have it ready for you to see um, you know, what it looks like. And it's a little warped, but I'm hoping that I will be able to hold that down with some hot glue. Um, and this is what it is going to look like. I also added some snowflakes to the rooftop to the top of the window. Um, I didn't add anything right here because this is where my ephemera piece is gonna go. I used this um, Sparklets embellishments uh, to put the little wreaths on the windows. It's called Santa's Here. And again, this is from the subs subscription box from Buttons Galore and more. And then I also am gonna use a lot of these little rhinestones to place around my card just to give it some sparkle. So I'm going to add my glue to this see how that works out for me um, oh no I ran out of I, I don't have glue sticks you guys I've been using um, some old glue sticks that are like brown and so ugly um, but they work it'll get the job done right that's all that matters okay and then I'm gonna add this to my card right about there And look at how pretty that looks already. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I did want to show you what I used for the snow. Um, I used this faux snow from Crafter Square. Um, super cute. And this is my little. So all of these items, you guys, they sell. Um, they're seasonal. This vase filler is seasonal at Dollar Tree. So what I do is I stock up during Christmas time. And then um, just to make sure I have enough for the year. Um, so that's what I have so far then I already have my little ephemera piece and this piece right here this word set that says Christmas magic this is from another one of Scrap Diva's dies it's from her I think it's from the shaker box uh, die set it comes with three different word sentiments joy Christmas magic and treat um, so I used that Christmas magic and it's just got some um, red glitter cardstock and some pink cardstock. And I love this little ephemera piece from uh, Fancy Pants Cookies for Kringle. So I'm gonna leave all of these items linked in the description box. Uh, I'll leave my discount codes for you to use. So I do not earn uh, a, a commission on any of that. It's just a discount code that they provide us for you to um, to be able to use. So I think it's really uh, a great idea to do that because it helps with like shipping and tax and all of that, you know? Um, so whatever little you can save is always good. Then I'm just gonna add some glue to this, just a little bit. And I'm gonna glue her on right here. I think that's where I want her, right about there. I think that is super cute so nice so these lights that I am using for some reason have been attracting so many bugs uh, there's a door right to the left of me to the backyard and so of course my kids always open that door and you know there's been so many like little bugs around here okay so next I am I have this little embellishment right here 
I have, I cut out a little gold um, star, not star, snowflake. <laughs> this is from an ornament box that I picked up from Walmart. And then I have these flowers on here. These are from um, Erica's flower die set. I, I think it's the one that I use the most always because of these leaves, but then also because these flowers are just so pretty. They look like poinsettias and I just think they're adorable. I first saw V use the flower die set like this where she just layered them on top of each other without staggering them and I just thought it reminded me of a poinsettia so I was like oh that's a, gonna be a great flower to use for Christmas time. So I'm just gonna add this to the bottom part right here and I'll add some glue to that. Just like so. Let me make sure this is centered as much as possible. Oh, it's starting to look so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Right? It's so cute. Okay, and then for the top part, you know what? This die right here for this bow is also from the Shaker Gift Box die set. I really like the size of the bow and the stitching detail. It's just really simple. And then I added these little charms to hang off of it. Um, these are from Rhoda. And then this one is from my Buttons Galore and More subscription box. And I'm just going to glue this to the center of my house right here. And... Just like so. Making sure that again, that's centered. I just think it's so cute. Isn't that little charm like perfection for this Cookies and Kringle <laughs> um, collection? I just love it. I love it. I think she is adorable. Okay, and then I also have these snowflakes right here. These are from Jersey Secret Stash. I got them in a little bundle. I'm gonna add these on here. I think I'm going to trim this down a little bit and then just glue it down right under there just like so and this one I'll leave the full size and just glue it down. Okay. Super cute, right, you guys? Look at how easy it was to put that all together. Um, so what takes the longest is, of course, embossing, uh, not embossing, um, let me put some pressure on this, is um, embellishing your little slimline house. Um, look at how cute, I love it, you guys. I love this so much. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. Now I am going to share with you how to create this box. So I'm still going to go back off camera and add these little crystals. See the little clear crystals? I'm going to go back and add some on the white part of this card like I did for my prototype because I like that sparkle that it gives. It just makes it look like it's snowing and I think it's just adorable. Um, okay, so I'm going to set this card aside and this is the gift box that I want to put my card in. I've already assembled it. I picked up this cardstock. It's got some um, gold foiled stars on it from the 12 by 12 cardstock warehouse. And so this is going to measure five and three fourths by 11. And then on the five and three, or, or actually on all four sides, you're gonna score it at three fourths. And that's what I did for both. So I closed up this bottom piece and then when I was doing the top piece, I put it on here and adhered it using hot glue. I, I need to figure out what I can use that's transparent. Um, and I closed it up once it was on here because I didn't want it to be too snug. So I didn't close it up till it was on here. So for this box, you're gonna need two pieces of paper that measure the five and three fourths by 11. And then you score it um, on, at three fourths on all four sides. And I will um, put this up on the screen for you to see. So then this is gonna fit right in here. Look how cute that is, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. This little leaf right here is gonna cause a problem because it's sticking out too much. Let me cut this off and glue it down separately to make sure it fits. So you wanna make sure that everything you're putting is gonna fit in your box. Make sure to measure it um, before you glue it down. I, I failed to do that, but it's okay, it's gonna work out. So I just fit it in just like that. Look at how cute that looks. 
And then I'm going to put this on there. And I'm going to use some ribbon to tie this down. Let me just like so. Tie a little bow up here. And then I'm going to trim this down a little bit. That one looks okay. Okay. And I'm going to add this tag. I love this tag, you guys. Let me show you. It says Santa's Cookies, guaranteed to get you on the nice list. <laughs> Do not open before uh, December 25th. And I just added some red and white twine to this. A few little charms and the jingle bell. And I'm gonna tie this on here just like that. And look at how cute this is. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. I wanna make one of these for everybody I know and give it to them for Christmas. Like I feel like just this is such a sweet gift. Look at how pretty that is, you guys. Isn't that so pretty? I am in love with this <laughs> so much. I hope that you enjoy this. I hope that it inspires you to create a beautiful card like this and give it to the special people in your life this holiday season. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out the description box of this video so you can get all the links and discount codes and all that good stuff. And I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.